any time I'm racing in Italy, this is kind of uh, feels like a home race for me. You know, racing in France, I don't speak French. Racing in Germany, Denmark, Spain, uh, I don't speak the local language. When you when you are in Italy and, and, and I can speak Italian and I can eat pasta and sort of feel a little bit more at home, then it's, uh, it's pretty special. It's actually kind of funny because this year was the first year that I actually raced in Italy ever. Milan yeah. San Remo was my first ever Italian bike race. Sure. Um, so now I have Milan San Remo, Trentino, Giro della Toscana, yeah. and the entire Giro under my belt. That's remarkable, especially after, I mean, you, because you spent a bit of time here growing up, didn't you, you when you, in your sort of early yeah, teenage I always, years? I always played soccer when I lived here as a, yeah, as a I middle did. schooler. I, I did do a, grand, a couple grand fondos yeah. in Italy, but those don't really count unless you're room sauce or somebody. Oh, absolutely. How good were you at soccer? Uh, I was all right at, I was all right at soccer. As I, as I lost interest, my skills kind of went <laughs> downhill. Um, but I wasn't, when I was playing on a team, you know, it sounds kind of like, ooh, he's playing in Italy on an Italian team. But just like this local, we didn't really even have any structure to our team. We just liked to play soccer. and went out there and won every once in a while and lost a fair amount and sure. just had a good time. No, fair enough. That's what, it, that's what it's about at that age. So. Yeah, when you're at that age, you get too serious about something and you're just going to yeah. be totally sick of it within a year or two.